Oh, it's a gray fox. <laughs> I'm getting pretty discouraged about this spot. Didn't think I was going to catch much because this guy literally comes down here almost every day. A little one, good size. Not bad. This trap bed was right here. He's on a cable link to that little pine right there. Set for a coyote walkthrough set. Where's that other stake? That stick right there. So, yep. Yeah. What's the catch look like? Yeah, I got him right above the pad by the looks of it. Not bad. Let's get taken care of and move on to the next one. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end of the season for fox and coyote. Today is, I don't even know the date today, but I don't know what date it is. Oh, it's the, I think it's the first, December. And the season ends on December 15th, so I'm gonna be getting ready to probably pick these traps up. I haven't had anything because the guy always comes up here. I got a gray fox across the road. And I got a, my looks, I got a coyote, a little coyote. That's still better than nothing. Hi! Nice tail on him, nice fur. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I think you are a male. Hey. Oh, I got, I got a good catch right above the, right below the pad, above the toes. Every toe's in it. Not a bad year for coyotes. Sweet, good deal. I just want to put out there that I'm picking up for the season for the fox and coyote and coon stuff because it's, it's like December, I don't know what the date is, December something, and we're supposed to get a heck of a lot of snow coming this weekend and I ain't going to be able to get just a lot of them. So it's time, we just, I decided it's time to pick up. I'm going to buy my only beaver trapping from a partner and uh, well, there probably won't be much video of that. It's gonna be mostly pictures whenever we get beavers and stuff because it's only three day checks, so. Um, really ain't gonna be too much. We're just gonna, once I get a lot of pictures, I'll put them into a slideshow for beaver and maybe I'll get a few video of snaring and doing sets and stuff like that. But uh, So there ain't gonna be too much now. When ice fishing comes, I'll hopefully get some video of ice fishing and stuff like that. But yeah, might as well do a little video on some of the traps I use. Alright, this one right here is a Bridger 175 Night Latch. Uh, this one, I got two types. There's these ones, and then there's these ones. So they're the same trap, but the, these ones just don't have the laminates on the, on the dog and on top of the jaws. Um, I'm also using the Duke DPs. Also, we modified them. We turned that so they can go set off by going up or down. One, Victor one and a halfs, and we got Bridger number twos right there. Got a couple little jumps for coons. Uh, we got for mink, we got some number one coil springs. And you know, coon and mink, I got a no, number eleven long springs. Mainly what I'm using. And I'm doing multiple stuff like some of them I'm putting down wolf fangs, rebar. Some of them, when I can't get a stake, I'll cable them. The pipes of a coons with that pipe paste you've seen. Uh, the T-bars I use for coons and mink sets. And then that's the stake puller. That there and that one there. Two different types of stake pullers. And there's a bunch more traps in there. 
But so yeah, so uh, fox and coyote are done for the year. I'm gonna finish up picking them up later today, and then it's just gonna be on the pictures and slideshows of beaver trapping until I do ice fishing once the ice freezes up good enough. So thanks for watching. All right, so this this video is rather late, and couldn't help myself for it. I finished trapping a few weeks ago, and I just decided that I I had my video footage for the last few weeks, and I just never got around to making a video. I was busy, and I'm not fully done with still doing beaver and everything, but we are not doing fox and coyotes because that's gonna end soon. And I also stopped around the big snowstorms we had, but. Um, and there ain't gonna be much video of beavers, it's mostly just gonna be pictures and when I get enough I'll make a big slideshow of them. I think right now I'm only halfway, I think we're up to 70 something. Maybe. And, another thing is, in the, in all these videos it might seem like I'm not, I don't catch much. But what you don't realize is that the amount of time it takes to catch, the, to take a video of every single catch. That takes too much time because when I get there if I have some you might have that could be in a bad catch uh, you might just be running late or other stupid reasons a few times I might can't it was raining I couldn't get a lot of footage of a lot of things because we had a lot of rain there for a while and so I don't I only took video of some catch I took some of junk catches like the porcupines and the possums and then I took actual video of the bigger coyotes and the fox and I didn't get I don't have a video I don't have a video on here of one red fox because I only got one and it was on one of the days it was raining I didn't want to get my camera wet and I got a lot more grays I got I got I think I, I don't know how many videos are on here of them and what the plan is now is I'll make slideshow videos of the beavers and then I also will do some ice fishing stuff because ice fishing is coming up and hopefully if I can get a new bipod come up soon I'll try and get some coyote footage, some guns right there, and then next spring I'll do more turkey, but get some better turkey footage if I can have people film. It's better when you have somebody film for you, so then you have actual better footage and you can have you and what you're doing and stuff like that. Like, I had people with me when I did my video on how to do the coyote flat set. Well, could be for anything, fox, coyote, don't really matter. Could be set for a fox, you might catch a coyote. I caught a lot of coyotes on a fox set. But, so I'm going to try and do whatever I can. And if I slack, I slack. And I don't plan this to get anywhere too big. But, I just do it for fun. And, might as well, in the video, um, you can see him in the background. Um, this deer is my dad's big eight point from a couple, I don't know, I think four or five years ago now, five years ago. And that's mine from last year. I think his body's bigger, but the racks are different by, by a lot. But so yeah, the, the if you if you don't think I'm not catching much, it's just because I don't I'm not gonna take the time to take a video of a, a like a, every animal because then I'm have forty thousand videos of, of animals. I'll take pictures of all of them, which I'll probably make a slideshow of most of them, but I will not make a video of every single one. I'll take a video of some of them, the ones I feel like deserve, should go in so you can see a variety. Like porcupines, that's something you catch, and something it's a junk animal that ain't no value, and you just gotta use, and you ain't gonna get them out of a trap, so you gotta usually dispatch them. And but I do all that, try and do all that off camera, because there's a lot of people that do not like to see that kind of stuff with the killing of the animal. So I'll always, I'll make sure it's off camera, so you'll never see it. And basically, yeah, I'm just not gonna do every animal. And then this video at the end, there was that. Was only, I think there's only two animals in this video. There was a big, there was a fox, and there was a, what else was there? There was a fox, and a coyote, and I might have a couple beaver pictures, I don't know. That's, just a little bit, and they're from a few weeks ago. And also, the one coyote at the end is why, the reason why I saved it for the last video, is it was the biggest one of the season. That thing was the length of my body almost almost the length of my body and 
it, we had to use, it almost didn't fit on our, our stretcher. It was so long that the tail was basically almost sitting on the ground. If we set it leaned up, we had to actually hang it because the tail would have been on the ground and would have gotten ruined and stuff like that and would have dried up weird. So we ended up having to hang it. And so it, I, it, in total, it stretched out to be longer than me by like six inches. So it's a big guy. And I'll try and get a, before I take my furs out to sell, I'll try and get a picture of them all. And go off that but basically we're done traveling but until next season and that's about it what we will be doing is ice fishing like I already said I have some new people that I'm going to be ice fishing with and got some new stuff got some new ideas new places that I, not many people know about and I didn't I don't think I posted any ice fishing last year I posted a lot of bass fishing I didn't post any ice fishing Try and get some bass, and I want to try. I'll probably try and get some trout and some sand. Whatever happens, because they're easy to get video of. You can you can pull a line in with one hand, not that hard. But or well, I can just put the camera up and I can drag it in. You can see in all that way. I'll try something. And yeah, then basically I'll try and get some coyote video, and I'll get some turkey video, and then we'll be back on bear and deer season, which I didn't do any of that this year, which I thought about. And then it's trapping again, so it's. We're gonna be do going slow, but it's gonna try and get whatever I can get, and I'll fight. It might be only a, might be a couple months if I get a video out, but that's what it is when you're doing stuff when the seasons come, you know. So I hope you enjoyed anything from the season, any videos, any catches, anything I suggested. I'm still a youngin, I get a considerate, I guess, like. I go on where I am in a partnership with my uncle who was my mentor and still is my mentor. And we run half a line. I run one way. He goes another way. And we just do, basically do it together. And, right, and beavers, we do it together also because there's always a possibility of falling through the ice. And that we, that's something we had. There's a lot of people that die from falling through the ice trapping. So we do. We try and stay safe that way. We don't want to have to go through the whole process of that and losing somebody because there was a young guy who was only in like his teens about six years ago he went to the ice and died so and he was trapping so we're trying to do it safe so I'll, I'll do whatever I can to post a video but hope you enjoyed and I'll see you whenever the next video comes out